Welcome back everybody, where you guys a new YouTube video today. In today's video, we're gonna go over the Block Ops 6 patch notes. Me and my friend here, Dark Gaming Official, we're gonna take turns reading this, so we can actually make this video more entertaining than just me reading everything. So it says here, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 preseason patch notes, and here we go. We have welcome to launch week. The launch of Black Ops 6 is almost here. Make sure to check when the game will become available in your, your region. Preload now to save a time to launch. Global launch times across Console and PCs are listal. Listal? Listed below. <laughs> <laughs> So here is a picture here, the pre the preload and launch details. We have all platforms, which says October 21st, which we're already past that. Then the launch will be October 24th. So it's going by New Zealand time here. So we have 4 a.m. Wait, why does it actually say? Oh, that's preload, Never mind. So this is launch. Wait, it says launch October 24th. On everything. Hold up, I knew. Does that mean that we're actually gonna be able to play it tomorrow on I any? I think that's the New Zealand time. I don't know. Well, here is, you guys see it on the screen here. It says October 24th, but it's supposed, to, it's supposed to be October 25th, unless it's saying October 24th, as in tomorrow night at 12 p.m. That's when the game is actually available. All right, you guys see that? Okay. We serve some key areas. The team has been focused between our beta and the launch of the game. We've got some uh, new details to share, as well as a recap of everything you can expect when you jump into uh, this week. So we have the campaign. It says, forced to go rogue, hunted from within. Black Ops 6 arrives with a brand new single player experience lead by our friends at Raven Software. Our story picks up after the events of Black Ops Cold War and the 1980s flashbacks of Black Ops 2 to deliver from both new and returning players an action-packed narrative experience. Black Ops 6 brings an exciting blend of familiar and fresh elements. Beloved characters make their return alongside new faces, creating a rich cast for players to engage with players will join this cast in a breadth of missions across the globe with unique decisions to make. Just like Cold War or you had decisions to make, then those decisions impact your story, which is cool. The Rook, our new customization safe house, not only helps players prepare for the next mission, but allows for a closer look at each key character at the story progression. Plus, the campaign arsenal is packed with both and new familiar weapons and equipment, ensuring for plenty of fun along the way. As a reminder, there are plenty of great rewards to unlock by completing the campaign, including a new operator skin, finishing moves, multiple weapon blueprints to bring into multiplayer and zombies, and and more and as you see here here's a full picture of what you get for completing the campaign it which it looks pretty cool here i'm actually going to zoom in on this so you guys can actually see this more better so we have weapon blueprints looks like we have the truth serum the ames 85 assault rifle looks pretty cool we got the white design with the black and the orange the truth flies pretty cool weapon skin there and we have the bastion marine sp shotgun pretty cool a little purple camo there and we have the the badass sniper here and we have the i think it's called the onx echo lr 7.62 sniper rifle looks pretty cool and we have the packet aces jackal pdw smg we used that gun in the beta looks pretty cool and we have the case tracker knife melee then the marshall heists which is uh just the black guy in the the clothes and i thought the loading screen was another skin so it says good too. look it says a good look at the double nice little loading screen there and you get a badass finishing move looks like there a hook line and a sinker and we have a spray called slip sauce and we have stickers and charms we have allied efforts forging fate we have a tank charm and a the cradle charm looks like a nuke instead of a crate there or whatever that is but there we go full picture of the campaign rewards there we go it says finish the campaign and earn these rewards plus more so uh the guys little tip i would definitely do the campaign first before you hop into zombies and multiplayer because you can, can just get the campaign out of the way and just get all the rewards and stuff like that so and if you guys want to see the patch notes i will link a full link in the description of this video so you guys can read all of it yourselves so we have zombies ground based zombies will make a long awaited return at launch with two Two brand new maps, Tournamus and Liberty Falls, aka Liberty Balls. <laughs> The Dark Ether storyline continues where we find three members of Requiem <laughs> escaping from their prison of Tournamus Island with the help of the newcomer Maya Aguingadul. <laughs> <laughs> Otis Aquanado, just as dimensional breaches occur simultaneously in both the Philippine Sea and Liberty Falls West, Virginia. The main quest and all side quests for both maps will be enabled at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, and 6 p.m. BST Time on October 25th. Clear your calendars, assemble your crew, and stay on your toes. That Zombies team has made a difficult turning pass to increase the difficulty starting at round 
25 and beyond. Wonder Fizz will also only appear after round 25 accordingly and prepare for launch. Looking to bank some gobble gums in game, you'll earn these by successfully completing an X file at round 15 or higher. Round 15 to 29, one wimps to school gobble gum. Round 30 to 44, you get two gobble gums. And round 45 plus, you get three gobble gums. For a deep dive on all things zombies, check out our recent zombie prep cod blog and get ready to jump in on october 25th and before you know it our third round base zombies map will arrive before the end of the year all right multiplayer we have 16 brand new maps brand new maps new maps not old maps not remastered brand new maps we have the omni movement wild cards combat specialties and new score streaks and more black Ops 6 multiplayer is almost here prepare for all things multiplayer by checking out our deep dive up blog here you can also find map and modes guides additionally catch up on previously announced changes following our multiplayer beta so we have weapons there are 33 weapons at launch waiting for you to unlock and customize see our full breakdown on the weapons which we already reached on this on previous videos we have weapon balance while many weapons balance changes have been implemented across the board since the beta we consider to launch to be our day one baseline across the entire arsenal weapons balance is always ongoing so we'll be elevating data and feedback and sharing updates on this regularly and the multiplayer beta we tested a change that disables aim assist at close ranges while this was a change in the right direction we felt that that was a bit jarring and when crossing that close range threshold so we've adjusted our approach to linearly inner pilot aim assist strength so this this means that aim assist will be much weaker at the point of blank ranges and smoothly increased in strength out to a short range. We will, of course, continue to monitor and access data and player feedback. Of improved pistol and dedicated melee swap speeds, slight increase to weapon butt melee attack speeds, and adjustment to sway, bob, and overall weapon motions to improve point of aim when entering ADS. And additional improvements coming in season one, improved depth of field across all weapons. All right, pick it back up. Movement. Added a toggle option for corner slicing. Added a option to set the hold time to perform a dive to prone or slide depending on your slide slash dive behavior settings. Added an intelligent movement option to set mantle assist angle for tight, medium, or wide. Multiplayer map adjustments. Keep an eye. Keen eyes have already noticed a handful of changes we have introduced to our beta maps. Thanks to everyone amazing feedback. Delivering fair and consistent gameplay will always remain our goal and as such we are introducing some additional cover and changes to make fire flights a bit fair and well as various lighting changes to below selected art every change we have made but they'll help improve um, at, uh, help prove an idea of what to expect from beta to launch so we have skyline we have expanded the cover points around the hot tub at the center of the map adding new planters as cover near our spawn point added multiple cover options throughout the map here so we have a before and after of what they did so they updated the multiplayer map skyline we have a before and after see so the first one is a little like tan a little like you know not so good and uh, the second after is like more brighter and more vibrant and the colors are more way better the sky is more bluer and less you know it has a little weird little tan to it. it's weird but the second version they approved a lot more which is nice and it's going to show us different areas of the map so we have skyline before and after yeah it looks a lot better it's almost like you're looking through your sunglasses but they improved it a lot which is absolutely crazy so we that have another looks awesome and we have the third one here we have the spawn area next to the staircase here see it's like it's like i forgot what that color is but they improved the color so it looks a lot better and we have the hallway here yeah it looks very nice i don't know what the hell they just added right there okay before and after oh they removed the little little shelf there okay that's interesting and they made the doors open instead of like closed wait before Oh, this is before and this is after. Yeah. Okay, they did change that. So they made it where the doors are closed on one side. That's crazy. Okay. So we have SCUD. Adjusted bullet penetration values on the satellite dish panels to allow additional bullet penetration. The concrete wall at the main overwatch is now broken out, which allows more bullet penetration to make it slightly less powerful. Panels are doubled up at the side overwatch to still mount at small amounts of bullet penetration where there will there was previously none. Made additional cover improvements throughout the map. So this is SCUD. So we have the, uh, this is what it looks like before. And we're going to move this over and it's after. So yeah, that's huge improvements there so it looks like they doubled the walls on a little catwalk right there permits for the penetration which is nice i just realized they changed the um the bomb color to red to yellow i just realized that which is kind of cool yeah the trees are more vibrant yeah it looks a lot better the 
The building over there is more blacker. That's literally what it is. Yeah, it looks a lot better. It's crazy how much improvements they can make to these maps in like a, a short window. Like since beta and release now, which is crazy. So you have the second picture, it's like good. One a lot. Before and after, looks very nice. Before, the the blue canisters were there, and then they removed it and had a little thing right there. So it's nice. Can so I we add have to the second one. Go for it. It was like the before on this um second picture what we're going over right now on Scud. It looked more like Silent Hill type of thing. Like when when you're in Silent Hill, you have ashes falling from the sky, and it doesn't look as color colorful. And they made it more realistic, like like what you would see in real life. And I like that. Like they did fantastic in the short amount of time they had to get this done. Oh, they also moved the satellite. I just realized that the top left, they moved it. So we have the little little catwalk opening here on the uh, on the satellite here. I don't know what they, they changed here. Oh, I see what they did. Okay. That's before. So the wall, the little wall was destroyed. That's a minor change, but I guess it looks good, I guess. They did we, more details on the satellite too. Like it's more shaded in, if that makes sense. So now we have the next map, which is called Rewind, Make Cover Improvements Across Multiple Sight Lines so we have before and after so it looks like instead of this, this map being like out in the open they add a little truck here to add more cover which is kind of weird probably it's not the only vehicle they added so here's another before and after so basically they just like turned the, the truck like they barely moved it over there did you see the barrier right by the semi truck it wasn't there before the they barrier. added more cover if you look before at right yeah it's, it's like a, the... it's a I think it's a box is that a box it looks like um a bunch of um what's it called barrels and a um skin yeah yeah, it looks really cool. Oh, they added more boxes. Okay. And this one here. Oh, they just added pallets next to the truck. Okay. So we have audio. Do you want to say? I see. Uh, yeah, you just answered my question about like what's in front of it. I don't get why they added a traffic cone in front of the little <laughs> food truck right there, but okay. <laughs> Did you see that too? Yeah. I'm like, what's that going to protect? <laughs> Audio, we are expected to introduce our best-in-class audio experience coming to Block Ops 6 with the introduction of HRTF, a head-related transfer function, universal profile, and chanted headphones mode, which is available to all players for free. We've also added a setting to disable licensed music across all modes, particularly... I just hit my hand. Ow. Um, part <laughs> particularly useful for content creators streaming the game. That is actually huge so we don't get copyrighted on our youtube videos that's actually huge i'm gonna do that day one what about you it's buzzer yep 100 percent. for a closer look at our innovations and adaptive audio spiritual reverb physical bass acoustic game sound and personalization hr prioritization italiation sorry support and all new symmetrical Sim. hearing composition technology check out our dedicated audio blog so I'm we have there's this... sorry so we have Ricochet Anti-Cheat, Ricochet, Ricochet Anti-Cheat system activated for Black Ops 6 upgrades deployed at include carnal level driver PC detection and muttering updates across all protected titles, including Black Ops 6 and Call of Duty Warzone. Hashtag Team Ricochet. Mitigations live in Black Ops 6 multiplayer, including damage shields, disarm, splat, and more. Machine learning behavioral system deploys to increase speed of detection. Machine learning detection models added to analyze gameplay, combating aimbots. That's huge. So they're going to be be monitoring PC 24 seven. Is that what they're basically saying? Like they're just they're upgrading, be... upgrading the ricochet entity so it, it detects, I guess, more quicker. I hope it works. Adjustments for future weapon damage patch notes. Whether you're new to the franchise or a longtime fan, understanding how your weapon of choice deals damage is an essential aspect of Call of Duty gameplay in the past about patch notes. Used some terms to describe damage values at various ranges that could create some mild confusion for some players. In Black Ops 6 and Warzone Season 1, we'll aim to avoid this confusion twofold creating new weapon damage adjustments table for Black Ops 6 and Warzone. Season 1 patch notes establishing weapon damage range definitions for Black Ops 6 and Warzone. Season 1 moving forward. Weapon damage adjustment table. New in Black Ops 6 and Warzone Season 1, we are introducing a new table to highlight the changes a weapon has undergone from one patch to the next. You'll find it newest with our existing tables and our attempt to keep information as detailed and centralized as possible. This new table will comprise three columns, damage range, pre-patch, and post-patch, and 
rows of up to five to account for each application damage range for a given weapon. In each pre-patch, post-patch cell, the corresponding damage and range and meters values will be found. For easier understandings, we'll identify positive and negative adjustments with an arrow, like what you see in game. Here's an example of C9 adjustment we made during the beta. We feel that the C9 is a good spot as well rounded submachine gun with a solid rate of fire. It has higher horizontal recoil compared to other submachine guns, given a boost to its medium damage fall off range and as you guys can see in this picture it tells you the different ranges and medium range and max range on it they changed it a little bit but it doesn't seem like it changed that much yeah i see the the meters they changed it and now that you have a visual example of what our new weapon damage adjustments table looks like let's get technical so we have weapon damage range explainer in black ops 6 and warzone season 1 not all weapons are created the equal but all of them all of them respect the fundamental principle that the closer your target is to you the more damage you'll deal to them using the following dynamic ranges will identify how damage works in multiplayer and warzone so we have the maximum damage range this range outlines maximum potential damage a weapon can output in a single shot up to a specified distance this range will always start a zero meters and extend outwards until a player falls outside of our maximum damage range where damage begins to step down medium to Minimum damage ranges picking up right after the maximum damage range ends. We use medium and minimum damage to range to identify how damage will step down and potentially over distance. Remember how we said that all weapons are created equal. Some weapons can have up to three medium damage targets while some can have zero. In situations where a weapon only has one medium damage range, we will label this weapon damage range as is if a weapon has no medium damage range will emit over the medium damage range range rows medium damage ranges picking up right after the maximum damage range ends we use medium damage ranges to identify how damage will step down over distance reminder a weapon with medium damage ranges can have a minimum of one medium damage range and a maximum of three and all the future damage range adjustments tables will identify these medium damage ranges as one two and three when applicable when done when one being closest to the player and three being the furthest within the medium damage ranges in previous matches, notes version, these were identified as a close mid, near mid, mid, mid far, or far mid. Minimum damage range. This range identifies the minimum potential damage as player can receive at the furthest distance. This range will always pick up right after the furthest medium damage range ends and will continue to identify unless otherwise noted. Reminder, some weapons can have no medium damage range and will enter a minimum damage range immediately after the maximum damage range. And one last thing, as well, we progress to our future future seasons the teams at Treyarch and Raven will adjust weapons based on feedback and data to deliver the best experience possible for multiplayer and warzone respectively these adjustments may include shared black ops 6 weapons having different damages range values between the titles stay tuned for future updates and look for dedicated warzone patch notes brought to you and by our partners at Raven starting in season one and that is all the patch notes we just read all right it's buzzer I got a question for you real quick so my question is what is your thoughts of the patch notes we just got done reading and the improvements they made um i'm loving the improvements i think the map updates are really huge um just removing small details like boxes in front of like these little um containment boxes here to make the maps have more cover and putting vehicles in some places and just pretty much making the, the map more vibrant so you can actually see and the map feels more alive and just changing minor things can make a map good and i like how truck actually went out of the way and just took the feedback from the beta and now we have all these updates on a day one of launch which is which is October 25th. I can't believe they had this much time to implement all these changes in like a small window. Like it just, it's, it's crazy. It really is. And that was a great answer. Well, one thing I can say before we end this off is we're both very excited to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. It's literally a, a night away, it feels like. But it's yeah. really two nights, but it's. Call Call of, Duty, like Call of Duty Black Ops 6 launches begins in less than 24 hours. Um, the New Zealand launch is October 24th at 4 p.m. at 4 a.m. PT, 6 a.m. CT, 7 a.m. Eastern, and 12 p.m. UK, 1 p.m. CST. So that means we can, that means we can start play, Wait, ET. What is ET? That's not easy. That's not EST. Because that's... Eastern time. I don't... Because ET is different, I think. ET is definitely different. No, not the movie ET. No, that's, that's what I looked up. I looked up ET and I looked at the movie. Eastern time. That's our yes. Eastern time. Yes. That's weird. 
weird because that's crazy because we never had a Call of Duty game that allows us to play that early. It's always been like mid to like like an afternoon where you can like change your Xbox location to New Zealand so you can log in and play the game early. Maybe that's what they're, maybe that's what they're trying to say. Like if you switch your location, that's what time you could play your time. If you oh, your okay, here we go. We got a Charlie Into here. Oh, people are gonna love this one. Oh, here we go. Here's for the people in the comments below in my videos saying that you couldn't buy Gobba Gums in the store. It's literally right here. Oh, yeah, they're really gonna love this one over here saying that um you can't buy Gobble Gums. Here, guys, let's show you guys a prime example of when we said that when you guys sat there and said that they won't be no buying Gobble Gums. So, here, let's show you guys. I'm gonna put a big screen so we'll it's buzzer. Oh, well, there's also a, a featured store, instant refreshes on purchase so it looks like it refreshes every it says 19 hours but i'm guessing it's gonna be 24 hours we have a uh, hidden power this is for 400 cod points i think that's like i don't know if that's like five dollars or not but we have emulation liquidation which is like a fire sale we have respin cycle respin the mystery box soda fountain and we have uh see what this next one is we have killjoy which is insta kill and the second bundle park oh, i thought that was park garlic but it's on the house you only get one gobble gum which is 200 cod points which i think that's two dollars and usd i think nowhere but here on the house and we have the the alarm one there I forgot what the, which one that was but on the house allows you i think that lets you have an extra perk this video small clip portion of this video this is going to be for the people saying in my videos that you can't buy gobble gums it's literally right here you can actually buy it so when people we, we literally did a video trying to say that they're going to implement it into cod points where you have to buy them from the store and i know it's not out yet on this part but here soon even if you guys ain't zombies players i guarantee there's going to be a store where if you guys want to buy skins gobble gums are going to be into it i guarantee it it's like they did um on modern warfare 3 you buy this you get so many um ray gun pack you get so many crystals it's the same thing what we're saying so i'm not trying to like flex anything on here okay this is a little weird okay i'm gonna actually pull move my display screen here so you can actually see it i'm on an ultra wide monitor so i don't want i want to be at 16 by 9 here so we made this video before anybody else talked about it it's called this is how gobble gums will heavily affect black ops 6 zombies i did change the title once because people are not really understanding how this works if you haven't played black ops 3 when they announced gobble gums i already knew instantly how how are they going to implement this right away? I just knew how they're going to do it because I'm not stupid. It's a marketing. It's Call of Duty. It, it, it's it's kind of obvious. So for the people that didn't think you can buy those, there you go. Yeah, that's the video. We made it before anybody else did. We literally have videos on everything on news related to Black Ops 6, which is actually crazy. We literally have everything. We have information for days. Here. So my plan is here for the uh, the launch of Black Ops 6. I think tomorrow, Thursday, October, October 24th, if we're allowed to play, I'll probably be streaming the Black Ops 6 campaign. And now I'll just, that'll probably basically be it with the streaming thing. Then I might play Zombies, but I don't know. Then for the launch day, obviously, we're going to be probably on all day, which I'll be on for the, the Easter egg hunt, which will be on October, October 25th at 1 p.m. Eastern, I think. So everybody's going to be streaming that. I won't be one of them. <laughs> I'm going to be one of them as well. But if we do play early, um, I know there is a restriction when you can upload footage from it. Because well, it's, 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 it's 7 a.m. tomorrow. So people could start posting tomorrow at 7 a.m. Yeah, by the time I'm be coming out with some campaign videos tomorrow, by the time we get even, yeah, it, it would be the embargo would be already lifted by the time we play it and get ready to post it. So. Yeah, that's why I haven't been streaming that much. I I don't pick to not stream because I'm not lazy. I'm literally sitting here grinding videos every single day, making shorts. My Black Ops 3 launches, I'm expecting to be streaming every day. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but it's going to be hard. And let the competition rise. We're both going to be grinding like a crazy ass person. Like we, we push each other. We're bros. But yep. like literally, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have got to 101 subscribers before Black Ops 6 because he just kept pushing me, pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. And now I'm at 104. It just keeps growing. And that's what he's teaching me. He just taught me how to sit there and keep grinding. It might suck sometimes, but sometimes you just got to suck it up and keep going. All right, guys. So guys, so much for watching today's video. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll put it in the description below of my kind of schedule thing. If you guys want to follow any updates, follow me on Twitter. as like that. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification to never miss video and uh yeah we're gonna be hitting that 2000 subscribers even more and beyond that see you guys later peace